YouTube, what's going on? It's Mesa Fail back at it with some Destiny 2. All right, folks, hopefully you guys out there are working on your masterwork exotics or trying to find the catalyst. And if you do find the catalyst, you're working on the next steps to get your masterwork exotics. Now, when you turn an exotic weapon into a masterwork, not only do you get the regular perk that we get with our legendary masterworks, which is going to generate orbs on multi kills, but there's going to be a secret hidden perk that we don't know about. Well, you're going to find out about them right now because a website named light.gg just data mined everything. So we're going to go through all the hidden perks on these exotic weapons. Now, a number of exotics right now, the catalyst is not available. However, they will eventually become masterworks and all of the hidden perks are in this list right here, which we're going to go through in this video. Without further ado, let's jump into it. Now, I got to be frank with you guys. When you see some of these hidden secret perks, some of them are really good and some of them really are just kind of stat bonuses and you're like wow do I really want to turn that into a masterwork either way eventually I'm gonna to try to turn all of my exotics into masterworks so let's just start laundry listing on these so starting off we have the Borealis the exotic sniper for PSN that hidden perk is just a plus 20 reload speed the cold heart gets two things it gets plus 20 stability and plus 20 reload speed now the colony gets plus 10 magazine and plus 30 weapon size with deeper pockets increasing its ammo reserves so the colony right now doesn't hold too much ammunition but when you make it a masterwork it's going to hold a ton of ammunition crimson's hidden perk is going to be max range it's getting plus 20 range which will max out at 100. darcy's getting plus 20 stability fighting lions getting a hidden perk and plus 30 reload speed the hidden perk is going to be Chimera. After this weapon fires, equipped kinetic and power weapons gain a brief period of increased handling and precision damage. Now for the Graviton Lance, it's getting a plus 20 range, plus 15 aim assist, and the hidden perk, it says here, better target acquisition. I love this thing, I cannot stop using it. Hard Light, that's only getting plus 25 stability. The Huckleberry is getting Ambitious Assassin, that's the perk that overflows the magazine based on the number of rapid kills before reloading. So combined with the fact that when you're getting kills, uh, it's gonna reload the magazine, and also the fact that you've got Rampage, Huckleberry is gonna get even better. Now Jade Rabbit, when you make it a masterwork, is simply getting a plus 30 stability, so it's gonna make it real stable. Merciless is getting a lot more range and stability. It gets plus 40 range and plus 40 stability. No extra perk there. Mida Multi-Tool, check this one out. It's getting Outlaw, so precision kills are gonna greatly decrease the reload time. So imagine Mida, you get that kill and get Outlaw. That thing reloads quickly already. Imagine getting Outlaw to proc and you're running a Warlock with Ophidian Aspect. That's gonna be a fun time. Now the Polaris Lance, that's the exotic Anna Bray Scout Rifle, which no one really knows how to get yet, or at least I have not figured it out yet. Now, the main perk on that thing already without making a masterwork is when you get precision hits, your fourth shot is going to fire an extra damage solar explosion type round or something. But it's going to actually get Dragonfly when you turn it into a masterwork. So precision kills are going to create an elemental damage explosion. Prometheus Lens, when you make it a masterwork, is going to get plus 20 stability and plus 20 handling. The Prospector, the exotic grenade launcher, is going to get plus 40 blast radius, plus 70 weapon size, deeper pockets, and increased ammo resistance. The Rat King, when you make that into a masterwork, plus 20 aim assist, plus 20 recall direction, and it's going to get a new perk called Infestation, improved aim assist and recall direction, and refreshes health on vermin invisibility trigger. So you go invisible, you're going to get your health back. Now, Risk Runner and Skyburner's Oath, they're not getting any secret perks, but when you make them into a masterwork, they both are going to get plus 30 range. Now, the masterwork of Sleeper Simulant is going to give you a plus 75 charge time and accelerated coils. That's going to be the hidden perk, which is going to speed up the weapon charge time. Sturm is simply getting a plus 20 range and plus 40 percent handling sunshot's gonna get plus 30 range and plus 20 stability so no special perks on those now the legend of acrius the exotic shotgun that's getting a bonus stat of plus 10 weapon size and reload speed but then also it's getting a perk of deeper pockets so increased ammo reserve so you will have more ammunition with the legend of acrius next up we have the masterwork for cirrus regime and when i did my review yesterday link in the description plug 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 kind of left you with the impression that I wasn't really feeling it. Well, the Masterwork version is going to get plus 50 recall direction, and then what's called the Suros Ascendance. That's going to be the perk. Increase your chances of kills for regeneration on health. So I don't think it's going to make it that much better. The thing doesn't have much recall as is, and I guess it's going to increase the chance that you already have. You have a chance to regenerate your health, and now it's going to increase that chance. 
I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Next up, we have Sweet Business. You're getting a secret perk called Serious Business. When this weapon is fully spun up, the flinch from incoming damage is greatly reduced. That might come in handy, especially in PvP. I know I like to annoy a lot of people in PvP with Sweet Business. Just start winding it up around a corner and then hose them down. Good old Telesto for the masterwork. You're getting 60 for the magazine. Well, plus 60. Uh, plus 40 for the weapon size and the deeper pockets perk. So increased ammo reserves. Tractor Cannon's getting plus 70 for the magazine, plus 50 weapon size, and also deeper pockets, increased ammo reserves, that's for the perk. Next up, we have Vigilance Wing, which we already knew about, it leaked a while back, but it's going to be full auto, so when you turn it into a masterwork, it's going to be full auto. Wardcliffe Coil, when you make that into a masterwork, the perk you're going to get is called Pinpoint Guidance Module, which is going to improve the tracking on the projectiles, so it'll be interesting how that actually works out. Now, the World Line Zero, that's the new exotic sword, I did a review on that, link will be in the description, but that's getting the hidden perk called Another Dimension, where it's going to reduce the activation time for Tesseract. Tesseract is the exotic perk where when you hold down the sword, well, I'm sorry, when you have the sword on and you start sprinting, you build up a charge. When you build up enough charge and you press melee, you teleport forward and slice anything that's in front of you. So sometimes you got to sprint a little bit to get it to proc, but now when you have this masterwork version, it's going to reduce that activation time. So all of this was put nicely in a format over on Reddit by a Redditor named Sir Abaddon. I'm going to link that in the description. I'll link the thread and the Redditor, but then also that website light.gg. Let me know what you guys think and what catalysts have you found and what are you working on. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for the support this week. It's been awesome. I'm having a good time with Warmind. I'll do some more videos over the weekend. We've got the This Week at Bungie tomorrow, which I usually live stream as soon as it goes live right here on YouTube. And I'll do some more reviews over the weekend. And I want to just do an overall thoughts and what I think about Warmind as a DLC, kind of comparing it to Curse of Osiris. But I don't think it's a fair comparison because I feel like it's completely different than Curse of Osiris. Anyway, Babel Modes engaged. Leave me a hashtag made it to the end if you did make it to the end. And do me a favor. Drop like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on Twitter at MesaShawn. Check out my stream. Usually and always on YouTube. And that's it. I'm out of here like Vladimir.